Hello, this is Ashadina. The WordPress ERP recently updated and improved the leave management system. You can create any types of leave. This video shows how to create leaves for casual leave, maternity leave, and new year. We also cover features for creating leave requests, approving leave requests, and managing holidays for employees. Let's start. Before upgrading to the new version, please be sure to back up all your data. Also remember to enable the HR module of the WordPress ERP. Lastly, go to the settings of the WordPress ERP and enable the debug mode. This enables you to delete policies that you have created. When you are done, click on save. Before you start implementing the leave management system, you need to set the leave year before you set the leave policies. To create a leave year, go to the settings of the WordPress ERP, click on HR, and then click on leave years. Then set the year, including the dates. You can add more leave years if you want. When you are done, click on save to finish. The next step is to create leave types. To create leave types, click on policies under leave type management and click on view leave types to set your leave type in advance. In this case, we are creating sick leave, maternity leave, and casual leave. Let's create our first policy. Under the WordPress ERP, click on HR and click on Policies under the Leave Management tab. Click on Add New and a form will be displayed. Select a leave type by choosing a leave type from the drop-down list. This is the list we just recently created. Here, we are choosing Casual Leave. Set a description for your leave type and set the number of days. Applicable after refers to when a new employee is eligible to apply for a leave. Next, you can set the calendar color for a visual look. Set the rest of the information required for your leave policy. The casual leave policy in our case applies to all departments, designations, location, gender, and marital status. When you are done, click on save to finish. This is how your leave policy will look like. In this case, the green color helps to visually identify the casual leave policy. Applying colors is handy when there is a long list of leave policies. After creating a policy, you will not be able to change the information for the year, leave type, days, and calendar color. You will have to delete a policy if major changes are required. Let's set a policy for maternity leave. Just copy an existing policy and select maternity leave from the leave type list. Now set the leave days of your choice. Then set the color and apply this leave to female of the gender section. Lastly, click on copy to finish creating a policy for maternity leave. Now what if you wanted to create leave policies for a new year? To do this, just go to the settings of the WordPress ERP and set its new year along with the date before clicking on save. Now go back to policies and copy an existing policy. Proceed to set the information as you want, but remember to set the new year. Please note that changes made for a new year does not affect policies for previous years. When you are done, click on copy to create your first policy for a new year. To view the policy, Select the year you created and click on Filter. You should be able to see the policy for the new year. As you can see, we have created a casual leave policy for the year 2021, simply by copying last year's casual leave policy. If you want to set leave policy for unpaid leaves, 
just go to the settings of the WordPress ERP. Go to HR, then click on Leave, and check the box for extra unpaid leave. Then click on Save. To save you further trouble, you can easily create or import holidays. Click on Holidays under Leave Management. Then click on Add New and set the holiday name and date. Enabling the box for range lets you set an end date. When you are done, click on Create Holiday to complete the form. Employees will also be able to see their calendar marked for the holidays. You can also upload a CSV file that has data for all your holidays. Let's look at how employees can apply for a leave. An employee will head over to HR of the WordPress ERP and click on Take Leave. A leave type is selected along with the date. A purpose of leave also has to be stated. Files can be also uploaded if needed. Lastly, the employee clicks on Send Leave Request to complete the notification. To manage leave requests as an admin, just click on Leave Management. Notice that the available days is 20, but when you click on Approve to accept a leave, the amount of days remaining is adjusted. In this case, the remaining number of casual leave for this particular employee is now 18 days. To create leaves on behalf of an employee, click on New Request. Then select an employee name and proceed to set the date, leave type, and the purpose of the leave. When you are done, click on Submit Request to finish. Finally, click on Approve to grant permission for leave. There are two points to remember. You can't edit a request that has been already sent, and its status is currently set to pending. Secondly, only full-time employees can apply for a leave. And that is how you use the leave management system using the WordPress ERP module. If you face any issues, feel free to drop us a ticket and our team will gladly respond. That's it for now. Stay tuned!